Tak om musik og film. Why is it that people feel, always feel so uh, angry if a film doesn't reach a mythical conclusion, if it doesn't reach the kind of conclusion that is needed? Is because our lives every day I know that, end in such an untidy fashion. So why would people not be resolved with the idea of not having a conclusion that is satisfactory? I just. It's a matter of mood, because if I watched a Brian De Palma movie, which quite often are very rough, very tough movies, yeah. and who, who just goes into black, and then light pops up in the movie theater, and yeah, then yeah. he says, go home now. Yes. He has ripped out my heart, but yeah. he didn't replace it. Yeah. And I don't like walking around without heart. <laughs> and somehow, I, and that was, uh, that was my feeling with Nightwatch, that I, yeah. I, I think that I, at some stage, had ripped out people's hearts in, in, this clim in these climax scenes, but, but I wanted to replace it again somehow. I'm quite happy for that, uh, to have my heart yeah. taken away. <laughs> There's so much fear in the world, so mm. why just create fear, just to create more fear? Well, I'm not so sure that fear is such a bad thing. No, but... It's uncomfortable, but I think a lot of the things that we receive as uh, uh, daily blessings, yeah. as fear and uh, anxiety and sadness, I think, uh, should be as welcome as all the yes, I think so. states that we uh, say that we want to. We want to feel happy, we want to feel fulfilled. But I think there is as much to um, as much to encompass in a feeling of anxiety. I think it can be a very strange, rather propelling emotion. Yes, it's, it is. it's an interesting emotion. Yeah. It's not comfortable. That's it's right what you say that fear, anxiety, sadness is parts of life, and we're living somehow in a culture that is, that are trying to uh, to push all that away. You know, yeah. S to to uh, you know, we get all signs, kinds of pills today that could really make you feel happy throughout the whole day. You know, and and it's uh, taking the whole taste out of life because life is love and hate and, and pain and all that. Um, I, I was always intrigued with, uh, when I was temporarily studying Buddhism when I was young, when I was a teenager, Tibetan Buddhism particularly, that the, um, that the monks would in fact uh, meditate over corpses they would, mm. they would use corpses for purposes of meditation mm. as being one of the most transcendental yeah. states that they could achieve while living on the earth, is to really ruminate on death and, and the corpse right in front of them. Yeah. And I think, uh, we, we, you're right, we do push it away. I think uh, people tend to feel of, of, of death as though it's something, as though it's, there's something sinful about it, or mm. one yes. is a bit guilty about it. Yeah. Sort of, well, don't bring that up, you know, don't talk about that. Mm.
nogle fjender? Nej. Hvad med gæld? Gammel havde hvad som helst. Nej. Du har en kæreste, ikke? Hvad med sidespring? Måske har du provokeret en eller anden uden at vide. Der er en. En luder, der hedder Joyce. Jeg var sammen med en. Martin, for pokker. Hende dernede, det, det var hendes veninde, sagde hun. I må kende hende, for hun er identificeret. En aften, så ringer hun hjem til mig. Lysvåret, spænket. Ja, vi kender hende udmærket. Du godst. Hvordan skulle Joyce? Vi ved, at psykopaten færdes i hendes miljø. Hvem bragte dig i forbindelse med hende? Så en af mine venner. Det var bare en dum leg. Hvad hedder han? Jens. Jens Christian Arnke. Martin, øh... jeg vil ikke gøre dig unødig nervøs. Men jeg må sige det som det er. Hvis det her er, hvad jeg tror det er, så står der en meget farlig person i mørket lige bagved dig og ånder dig i nakken. You know, everybody talks about this trend. Yeah. Which I have been accused of being a part of, uh, like American Psycho, Brad Easton, Will Ellis, and all that, and and perhaps now also your new album. Yeah, I think, but that's like being accused, uh, being accused of, of anything that's a natural process. Accused of getting older, or yeah. accused of eating, or yeah. accused, <laughs> it's like being a, accusing time for coming to the end of the millennium. You know, mm. it's it's. I think that the kind of work that you're touching on and that I'm touching on, a lot, a lot of our contemporaries are touching mm. on, is is perfectly uh, a, a perfectly understandable um, reflection upon the end of the millennium. I yeah. think the end of the millennium itself is a death of sorts, and mm. I think that that one acts it out mm. symbolically, and it mm. will it will come out as some kind of. Uh, purging or some yeah. kind of of death ritual of some kind yeah. you know but i'm sure that both of us and uh, and our contemporaries will change as the time changes yeah. and when we reach the i don't suspect i'll be writing about a similar kind of thing when we reach 2000 no. at all in yeah. fact i'm sure that that emotionally and spiritually one blossoms in a period like yeah. that the beginning of a new millennium yeah. probably would be glorious. I'd imagine it would be full of life and uh, yeah. a, b a, a birth yeah. feeling of some yeah. kind. What the art will be, I don't know, but it will reflect that, as indeed we are reflecting the end. Yeah. We're reflecting the corpse of a, a rather toothless old hag now <laughs> of the 20th century, and, and this child will be born. Yeah. In the a lot of times, why this, the serial killer as character? Why am I Inspector Warmer, why you're Ramona, um, and what particular is it? And I've tried, I really never could give a, a, a good answer to it, why the serial killer, perhaps because the serial killer has no other motive than lust, uh, somehow. Killing has always been here, but they have often been in Hamlet. It's a political killing or a revenge yeah. or something. But the serial killer is, is just uh, without motive, or just because... There's a sense of perfection behind it as well, because it's an ongoing enterprise. At least with a mass murderer, he yeah. does it all at once, and it, it may be out of his system. He might only do it once in his life, and he might kill 300 people in one go, yeah. but it's all finished. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> the serial killer, there's a sense of, well, next time I'll do it better, or there, mm. there's going to be some kind of... It'll be, it'll be a better experience for me next time. Yeah. Sort of yeah. as though he's going for some kind of strange, deviant perfection. Yeah. yeah. Which makes him, I think, a source of fascination that... that That's why you, why you make him an artist. Probably. Yeah. There's something similar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah, there's certainly... Um, I think there's... Uh, 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 the same kinds of contradictions in both a serial killer and an artist. They both seem to negate something in their, uh, when, they, when, they, when they've arrived at the end of their work, the final piece of work seems to have negated something in their mm. own lives. Mm. Man sidder på bagsiden, som taget ud af gyser som transvestit, 
i tordenvejr og med en meget, meget stor kniv i hånden. Og hende, der skal dø, siger, at det kan du altså ikke være bekendt. Okay, det er midten af. Hvad ved du? Hvad er mine penge? Og jeres liv? Vores liv? Ja. <laughs> jeg sagde jo, at jeg var masse mor der, ikke? Så havde du ret. Saft suges, men du ikke havde ret. Han er nemfoman. Hvad? Mytoman. Nå ja. Men det der med, at du er statsministerens lillebror, det var bare løgn, ikke? Jeg ellers var alt det andet rigtigt, mine damer. Jeres sidste time er kommet. <laughs> der er virkelig dem klisché her. Nå, så du, du er altså masse morder. Mm. Tja. Det er vel sådan set også meget ind. Kender I American Psycho? Den har jeg læst 12 gange. Undskabens øjne har jeg set 40 gange i filmen med ham, der spiser sine ofre. Er det spiser du? Ja. Eller, nej, jeg, 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 jeg vil gerne, men øh, mm. hver ting til sin tid. Man skal jo lige ind i det, ikke? Ja, jeg overfaldt en fyr her forleden dag. Ved I, hvad jeg gjorde? Jeg bed hans negle. Fy for helvede. Og ja, man skal jo begynde et sted, ikke? Har du slået mange i her? Hold så op med det der. Jeg har en kniv. Man spørger sgu da ikke med sådan noget, når man har en kniv. Jeg tror ikke, han har slået nogen hjem. Jeg tror det ikke. Oh, han er nok for blød. Oh, han prøver bare at spille smart. Ja. Hold så kæft. Godt. Så sig, hvor mange du har slået hjem. Hvad med ham, den tykke politikommissær? Ja, vi overlevede ham der. Det er bedt stik. Ja, okay, okay. Så har jeg altså ikke slået nogen ihjel. Men nogen skal jo være det første. Det er det altså, ja. I had your new album on my car. I like to listen to music while I'm driving. I think it's the best place to do it, actually. Um, if I can't go to the concert, I... And, and very many of... of uh, much of the music on your album is it's quite dark somehow, but I, 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 it really makes me happy to listen to a lot of it. Even if this is a text about Ramona A. Stone killing people and innocent children or whatsoever, it really it can create a good feeling. My favorite stories when I was a child were things like Grimm's fairy tales. Mm. I don't mm. think one of them had a happy ending. No, they're or really scary. Was, they were ghastly. Yeah. They were yeah. terrifying. Yeah. And the Hans Anderson, of course. You yes. know, a lot of those things yes. are, are really dreadful. Yeah. But the Grimm brothers particularly. Yeah really had some extraordinary growing images. Do you ever think you will make the perfect, perfect piece of art? Or do we always get dissatisfied after a piece of time? Do we say, oh no, that was not so good as I thought it was? I'd like to be able to say that, like, I think it's the, I think it's the Persians who make their carpets with a floor, mm. purposely in the carpet, because <laughs> that I purposely put floors in my work. Mm. But unfortunately, they appear if, if I want them or don't want them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> no. No, I don't think. Uh, I don't think that. I think that I don't, I don't, I can't really be completely objective about my work in that way, that it's something that stands outside of me when I finished it. It's something mm. uh, that it can, it will always have flaws in it because yeah. it's only a response to a given situation. Yeah. Are you a good traveler? A good traveler? I yeah. don't know. I, I like, I like to sit in an airplane, even if I get scared sometimes. Yeah. The last time back from LA, there's these jet streams over the Atlantic. Usually yeah. they're in the back of the plane, so it just pushes you to London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now they were in the other direction. So, so this, uh, this Boeing 747 really jumped, you know. And then I think of my son, and then yeah. it makes me invulnerable. That's right, that's what happens. I, I try to make a, a ritual saying that uh, I, l I love my kids so much, so nothing can happen to me. That wouldn't be fair, so... 
I have no idea why, but when I'm on the sea on a, on a boat, it seems an altogether more comfortable way of, of uh, dying. The than, sea? <laughs> than from the uh, aircraft. I think the preference would be going down on the ship. I've just written a stage play called The Crushing. Really? It takes place for, it, take, it lasts for two hours. Yeah. There's about eight people in a jumbo going down for two yeah. hours. Ah. <laughs> it's a comedy. <laughs> now, that's something I could never understand. There was a Japanese flight which went down, and mm. they all had the perspective to take pieces of paper and write notes to their yeah. relatives. Actually, that's, you can get time enough for, to that's do That's an extraordinary act of will. Yes. That, 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 that must be awful. This yeah. 007. Yeah. The Korean flight was yes. shut down. Yeah. It crashed for 20, 25 minutes. Um, so I wonder what they were thinking about. Did I get my life insurance paid? <laughs> I get <yeah>, memorandums <laughs> to themselves. <laughs> Must remember yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. They do that in my play, you know. Well, they take their mobiles and start <laughs> <everything. laughs> making appointments. And they get wrong numbers. No, I'm know. busy tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>